everybody and welcome back to another Kraken Packs video. I am your host, Mr. Rivers. That's right, we're back with a second box of Ultimate Masters. I know this is what you've all been waiting for all week long. I know. Listen, I released the last video last Thursday as a special. I just wanted to get like sort of like ahead of the burst of all of the other ones. Um, or at least get into the mix with all the other ones. But I generally only do one full box a week, if that. Um, and I will be doing one of these boxes each week moving forward as long as I have them available. Um, so, without further ado, let's get in. Let's get in, and this one will be quite a bit faster, I'm hoping, than the previous one, because we're not going to go through all the commons and all that good no nonsense, because it's been a week now. You guys don't need to see that stuff, right? We've got our box topper. We've got our packs. And then, let's... Jeez, this is like... Holy moly. There we go. There. Always gotta put the box together, right? Always gotta put the box together. Alright. Boom. Box topper off to the side. Let's put it up there like that. And let's get in. All right, what's our first one? We have got a Whirlwind Adept Foil, and our first rare is a Nourishing Shoal. There it is. Uncommons. Nothing super fancy there. Let's move this over to here. And Worm Token with a Ingot Chewer Foil, and... Creeping Tar Pit. Alright. Not a bad rare. Not a bad rare. Nothing super exciting there in the uncommons. We've got a Spirit Token, a Foil Wicker Bow, Wicker Bow Elder, and Urbog. Urborg, I should say. Urborg. Tomb of Yagmoth. It's a nice rare. We got a Kitchen Finks, which is a decent uncommon. And nothing else super interesting there. Alright. Okay, how about a foil Phyrexian Tower? Yeah, I'll take it. It seems pretty good. It seems pretty good. And an Entomb? Alright, I'll take it. I will take all of these things. Let's put our foils here. And let's put our How do we let's let's make sure that we get some nice piles here. All right, in tomb. There it is. And then nothing super exciting in the uncommons. Whew! What a spicy hit. Foil Phyrexian tower. Yes, please. Foil Faith's Fetters. And a Fulminator Mage. Hey, we didn't hit that in the last box, so there you go. I don't think this box is going to live up to that last box, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Miss Veiled Plains is a good uncommon. Prismatic Lens, Boneyard Worm. Ah, good old Think Twice. Good old Think Twice. Ooh! The Mirrored Lage token. I'll take that. I need that. I don't have one of those yet. Mystic Retrieval, not a bad little foil uncommon there. And a Ruined Halo is our rare. And we've got nothing super exciting in the uncommons. Let's see what else. Rawr. Ooze Token, Foil Turn to Mist, and Thespian Stage. Now we just need the Mirrored Lage Land, right? To go with it. Songs of the Damned. Nothing super exciting in the uncommon slot. We got lucky. Our box topper wasn't mangled to all, you know, beyond all recognition. Patchwork Gnomes. Golgari Grave Troll. 
The art looks really cool on that, by the way. Very neat. And Darkmoor Salvage is probably worth about a dollar. So we'll put that off to the side. All right. Citizen. Nice. Foil Sky Spear Cavalry. And our first mythic, Temporal Manipulation. There you go. Don't have that yet, so not too... Uh, not too upset about that one. Nice. Shuri, she's his caretaker. Travel prep, nothing super exciting there. The Hyena Embra, I'm not sure. Is that over a dollar? Maybe it is. Maybe that common is over a dollar, and I'll need to go back and check all my other packs that I've opened. Spark Spitter Foil. And Gamble. Good old Gamble. Gamble's a fun card. And nothing super exciting there in the uncommon slot. Let's see. Spider token. Foil walker of the grove. And a fauna shaman. I'll take it. I like fauna shaman. Counter squall about a dollar. Not not quite a dollar, but almost a dollar. Good old treasure cruise. What else? What else are we going to find? We need to get some more hits here. We're not going to live up to that last box, I don't think. We've got a foil mere servitor and then visions of beyond. Ooh, there's an E-Witness, though. Nothing else exciting in the uncommon slot. We're short some Mythics here, and we are looking for some nicer rares as well. Would be nice. Golgari Brown Scale. And Sovereign of the Lost of Lost Alara. Lava Spike, not a bad little uncommon as well. We are more than halfway through this box. We have one Mythic. We have a couple rares of Super Note. Stinger Fling Spider Foil. And a Rhea Dawnbringer. Oof. Spider Spawning. Nope. 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 Nothing super exciting in the Uncommons there either. My goodness. My goodness. We got a Zombie Token. And we got an uh, Acacian Crier. And our rare is a Seismic Assault. There you go. Good old Seismic Assault. Seismic Assault was a fun card, though, to be fair. The new art on it, though. I missed the, I missed the hand coming up and, like, out of the ground. Homunculus. Foil Fiery Temper. And Through the Breach. We'll take that. It's a nice little rare. The Vengeful Rebirth art is so cool. I love that. It's so nice. All right. We need two more mythics here. We got a third of the box left and we only have one. How about a foil defy gravity? Yeah. Ooh, celestial colonnade. I will take it. That's a nice hit for the rare slot. And living lore. Good old downshifted living lore. Frantic search. Good card as well. With new art as well. Zombie. Foil hero of uh, lean, lean tower. And... Ooh, Ooh, an Emrakul. I'll take it. I will take an Emrakul. Yes, I will. Very nice. It's a nice mythic. Ancestors Chosen, Young Pyromancer. Alright. Let's see. Boom. Wild Mongrel. And Squee! Goblin Nabob. Well, Squee. Ooh, Chainer's Edict. That's a good uncommon. Squee, I'm not squeeing so much about this box. The la the I will never live up to that other box. That's just not gonna happen. Generator servant. And Lava Caw reaches. There it is. We got there, right? That's the best rare, right? Everyone's looking for that one. That's my that's the favorite. Circular logic, anger, both very good uncommons. We're still short a mythic. And based on what I've been seeing, we should see probably another foil rare. Mahamati Jin and Revel Arc. Revel Arc's not a bad little rare. Not uh, super exciting, but uh, not not the worst. We are definitely um, missing out on some of the heavy hitting rares as well as a mythic here. So, Seder Wayfinder. Glenalendra, there's a nice little rare. Desperate Ritual, also a nice uncommon. Sleight of Hand, also a good uncommon. So, there you go. Two packs left. Two packs left. Holy moly. 
Fume Spitter, and Noble Hierarch. There it is. We will take it. Fiend Hunter, Buried Alive, Penumbra Worm. Nothing super crazy there. Oof, Noble Hierarch. Yes, please. All right, so Mythic in the last pack? What do we think? Foil Rare in the last pack? Okay. All right. All right. Foil Rare in the last pack. Got there. Gaddock Teague. Not a bad little foil to open up. I'll take it. I will take it. See? Two foil rares in a box. Got there. And? <laughs> How about two Gaddock Teagues in one pack? Huh? Huh? Like, look at that. It's just like the... Soon. <laughs> oh, man. Two Gaddock Teagues in one pack. Got there. Got there. I mean, Gaddock Teagues is not a bad card, so I mean, I'm not going to complain. It's just funny to get it in the same pack. All right. As you can see, we got quite a few here. No, I mean, like, a bunch of these might be in, like, the 2 to $5 range. I'll have to go and double check. I know Gamble for sure is definitely not in, like, the terrible pile. It should probably be over here, but, like... We definitely missed out on a couple of the decent rares that we could have hit. Like, Engineer Explosives, things like that. Let's see if the box topper will also not be super amazing, right? We can't hit two Lilianas in a row, right? We can't. It just can't happen. We can hit a Sigarda, though. I mean, it's not uh, not like the highest end box topper by any means, but it's still a nice card. Sigarda is a very good card, and the art on it is phenomenal. So I mean, I'll take it. I will take it. So there you go, everybody. We only got two mythics out of this box, which is a little upsetting, but at the same time, foil Phyrexian Tower, foil Gaddock Teague, Noble Hierarch, Celestial Colonnade. Fulminator, Mage, Tomb. We hit some pretty decent cards. Definitely nowhere near as good as the last box we opened, but still, not terrible. Definitely not terrible. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I have been your host, Mr. Rivers. This has been a Kraken Packs video of some Ultimate Masters. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. As always, may your pulls ever be better.